Okay, today um, I'm going to take a look at some uh, basic shapes of some various functions and um, then we'll get into maybe families of functions and, and things of that nature as well. Um, for the, the top three examples here I've got um, y equals one half x. Hopefully you're recognizing that as being like y equals mx plus b in this case which I would have the plus zero here. All right, a single x with nothing going on to it, something in that line, uh, form, is just going to be a straight line that's going to have a slope either positive or negative. Okay, um, uh, Equations that have y equals some number. All right, y equals some number, every one of those will be a horizontal line. So all you have to do to, to sketch it is to go to the y-axis. This would be the y-axis. Go to the y-axis and go up to the number, one, two, three, four there, and then draw a horizontal line through it. So any equation that starts with y equals is always a horizontal line. All right, this um, same is true here. If I've got x equals negative 2, all right, then I would go to the x-axis, and I would run along that x-axis axis until I got to my number, in this case negative 2, and then I would be drawing a vertical line. So all equations that are x equals are vertical lines. All right, um, that pretty much takes care of your linear equations. All right, now if we come down here and we take a look at an equation with an x squared, all x squareds are going to be some type of parabola or quadratic. All right, could be upright, could be upside down. All right, but basic x squared is a quadratic. An equation with an absolute value sign in it is going to be a v. Here again, that could be upside down or right side up. All right, and... Um, there again with lots of shifting, it's just going to have that basic shape of a V. All right, and then my last curve here, Y equals X to the third, um, is kind of like a little uh, curvy S thing. Kind of has, with no shifting or anything, your basic X to the third kind of looks something like that. All right, um, but it's a cubic, so it's going to have a down-up type in behavior or an up down depending on if it's been flipped or anything but there's some just basic shapes of some various functions all right now you really do want to memorize these family of functions like all of your x to the thirds all of your absolute values um, I've got several other videos uh, a little bit later that's going to show you how to take a, a quadratic or an absolute value or a cubic equation and then translate it um, you shift it to the right, shift it to the left, up or down, and you can real quickly do some rough sketches, um, which is going to give you a general idea of what it looks like without actually having to graph it. So um, this is just showing you basic shapes of your uh, some of your early family of functions that would be helpful right before you start graphing them. Thanks for watching.